Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starek has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starek's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh. Splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. And what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. Yeah! You must understand I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick fell out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the cute. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner. That's one of Milner's. Malcolm Milner, Starek's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the outway depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it. That is a door nail and good riddance. Uh, Heave ho, Jacob.
primed and ready. I can see Milner's stock price plummeting already. You're hired. Oh, I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall reveal the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Like that. 